I'm Sean Atwood, the author of Hard Time and John's Jail Journal. Uh, were you raped in prison? No, I wasn't raped in prison, but I know people who were. Why were they raped? Well, I'll give you one example in particular of someone I met who was gang raped. This person um, went into prison and clicked up with the Aryan Brotherhood. It was actually a, a debt collector for the Aryan Brotherhood gang. The Aryan Brotherhood turned on this person and the person ended up getting gang raped. I had a conversation with the person about the gang rape and I'll, I'll, I'll read you a little bit of that. Um, have you been raped in prison? Yes. How did it make you feel? I asked. Pretty messed up. It's very degrading. What happened? The first time was a gang rape. They beat me up. They stuffed things inside my body. Beat me until I was unconscious. Raped me while I was unconscious. What did they stick inside your body? I asked. A broomstick. How do you know if you were unconscious that they raped you? When I had to go to the toilet afterwards, I could tell by what came out. What did you do after being raped? I sat in my cell for two weeks waiting for the physical scars to go away. I got moved to another yard where the same thing happened. They beat me up, raped me and used me afterwards as a sex toy, a prostitute, a punk. I said, are there no remedies? Will the guards help you? He said, who would believe you? I said, did you think about killing the people who did this to you? And he said, I thought about killing myself first. I wanted to. I still do sometimes. And at that point, um, my friend started crying. But he came back um, a few hours later and, and gave me some more information. I said to him, do you have any advice for parents whose youngsters have been in prison for lesser charges, such as marijuana or drunk driving? Does this happen mostly to youngsters? He said, yes, it does, especially if they don't have money. But it can happen to anybody. I've seen it happen to big dudes, skinny people, and even the ugliest people in the world. People who come to prison who aren't street smart, don't understand the mentality of ghetto life. Those are the people who get preyed upon. So I said, how did you stop it? He said, I took the abuse for as long as I could, and then I started fighting. I won most of the fights. When I stood up and told them I didn't care about getting killed, it stopped. You've got to be ruthless. And that's understatement. What he actually did to stop it was... He studied anatomy and the next two times there was a rape attempt on him. The first person to lay hands on him, he popped their eyeball out. After doing that twice, when your eyeball's hanging out on a string, it kind of stops people um, in their tracks and makes them think about what they were doing. And my friend thought he was lucky because he had other friends in there who were actually gang raped and then decapitated and the gangs would take the head and throw it into an area of the prison where the other races could see it, the other gangs could see it, just to show that they were the meanest gang. That's it.